Hello, this is John Way here from Advertise One, and this is the presentation for Newcastle Startup Week online. Uh, I know um, I would have normally been speaking and attending the event this year, but like everyone else, uh, we are doing this online. So thank you very much, Paul, for giving me the opportunity to let me speak uh, during these five days. And of course, I'm going to be, I, I, I'm going to definitely be at the event in September and hopefully be speaking in September with a different topic. So let me get the screen share on. And uh, one second. I'll just uh, hit the right button, of course. There we go. So there's the screen share. I'll just uh, make my screen a little bit bigger. So yes, yeah, so the, today's topic is what can you do to improve your business on, online on a small budget, especially with the coronavirus uh, and this pandemic. And one thing that I have noticed in particular is that a lot of customers uh, don't have much money to spend, but got time to learn something and happy to have a little bit of knowledge to then go on the road to do something. So one thing I'm going to do is uh, talk about some tools uh, which uh, I have used, which has helped businesses with how they do things online. So if we continue. So if I just make this screen a little bit smaller. So yeah, uh, I am from Mayport originally, which is about 90 miles away uh, from Newcastle. I'm now living in Heaton. Uh, this is where I'm working at the minute. Uh, I'm based in Proto Gateshead and I've been there for just over a year. I've been full-time for 19 months, uh, full-time we advertised one for five years. Uh, the idea came about in 2015, uh, worked with the project with friends and family for a couple of years. It was registered self-employed in April 2017. And of course, this is where we're at now. Um, when I'm not working, uh, Love A Good Life concert, which I've been doing that during lockdown, uh, Game of Pool, I've been, been playing that on my tablet, so. It's okay, it does the job. Uh, and some photography on the side, which I'm gonna mention uh, that topic uh, briefly as uh, I go through the presentation. Um, the picture in the bottom right, there's a reason why I put that there, and I'll mention that further along as well. So the first one is Google My Business. Now, this is something which is a free of charge tool. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, uh, this is actually one of the best ways I've found that if you're a local business and you've just got a website and you've built it and it looks great and you've been doing social media, but you're still not getting the results that you want, then this is the next add-on to do, um, which of course uh, shows your listings uh, on the map. Uh, it is a case where um, people can search for you directly as well as indirectly. So for example, if you're a cafe in Jesmond, then if you type in, I'm looking for cafes in general, cafes near me, then all of them will show up with your result. Uh, if you're looking for open times, then this is where this is really good. Uh, directions, uh, website address, uh, any products as well, which products and reviews is one of the new features which are part of Google My Business. Now, if I show you an example, which is one that I've actually worked on with Paul earlier on this year to promote uh, Newcastle Start Week, you can see that. Um, We've said it so, of course, it's in the Newcastle area. If you search for just startup um, week or Newcastle startups or startups in the area, this result does actually show, uh, which has boosted the presence of um, the event. But the other thing as well, which I've done with him and uh, is teach Paul how to add products uh, where we've sat down for a few hours in uh, Tusk Park and um, seeing what it is that could be done. So of course you can go in the product section and buy the wristband and it takes you to the links in Eventbrite. Um, the code cards are free of charge um, and you can get them sent uh, to you uh, in about a week. You get a five digit pin code and it verifies your address. Now, if the case where um, you can't get to work or you want to hide your address in general because you do a mobile service, then of course you can do that Anyways, like for example, we have done that with Startup Week or we've just put an area rather than a physical address. So you don't have to have your address shown, um, especially for privacy reasons of uh, not declaring your home address. So uh, this is um, 
iZettle. Now, I'm going to show you two parts of iZettle. Now, if you've not heard this before, then iZettle is uh, generally a card reader, which I've got one here. I'm going to show you this on one of the demos. Uh, the card reader, and at the minute, I think I've seen an offer for about £19 or, or no more than £29.55. You don't pay a monthly cost, and you pay um, a small transaction fee. Now, there's two parts of iZettle. So the first part, um, of course, is the card reader itself which if I go on um, go on to the uh, card reader, I can then uh, put in a product. So for example, I'm gonna put through five day wristband for Newcastle Start Week charge, uh, put it onto the card machine, just switch the card machine on. Then of course, it's just connecting to the card reader now. So while that's connecting, I'll explain the other bit. Um, you can also send a link uh, via email, via text, or via online. So with that link, uh, you say with a customer that lives away, said, oh, um, I don't want to pay over the phone. Can I pay now? Yeah, that's not a problem. You go into the app and then um, you can make that link up. So you can see on the screenshots here, you've got total amount owed, £150. Great, you pay by card. You get onto the next screen yeah, and you the card information and the CVC and the postcode. And the good thing about this is that uh, myself or whoever's got the IZL account doesn't see that card information. It just We just know that that unique link which has been sent, that person has paid and um, it hits your bank in a couple of days. So now I've got the card reader working, I plug the card in. The other option is you can do this version here. So I'll just make the screen a little bit bigger for this. There we go, so you can enter your pin. So I'll just make one up, enter your pin, hit OK, and you can take a payment which works off Bluetooth. So um, especially now we're getting to a point where more contactless payments and car payments are being accepted uh, with technology, but especially as well, uh, it is a lot easier and a lot uh, hygienic um, in relation to using cash. So the next one I want to go through is your own domain and email address. Now, this is something that I do see quite often where people are still using uh, free email addresses or uh, a website URL, which you can tell when you look at it, it doesn't look great. So I've just put an example there. So I've just made a domain of free website at Code UK um, with my company on the side. There is so many out there that do this. Wix do it, Squarespace do it on their cheap version. There is other ones out there. And this to me uh, does look bad um, when you're trying to look professional. As well, you've got, um, I've made some email addresses up there, uh, I've even Yahoo one. Now the best way to do this, you can buy a domain. Uh, this is quite cheap to buy. I use Gandhi, uh, they use one to three reg, the score daddy. It's also a service which I offer. So if it's something where you want assistance and you can come speak to me, I'm more than happy to do so, where you can then come and buy uh, the main name with your company on it and then of course with email addresses with that company title so of course like paul at newcastle startup week and dot com for example um or um newcastle um your blogs at newcastle city council that sort of thing so all material now this is not like a complete yes or no uh, this is more uh, overdoing what they use and uh, using photography on purpose. Now, I do, I like doing photography as a hobby. I've got friends uh, who uh, do photography uh, for hobbies as well. Some do it for a business. Now, the one thing I'm really big on is try to use authentic uh, photography. So lo local area, if you're trying to promote a local business, uh, use local photography. And um, that's, uh, of course, one of my photos on the right. Uh, if you're promoting a team, uh, instead of using stock imagery, which what I've used unless it's behind the pit, hide the pain howl, then instead uh, use um, the actual teams. Uh, is it a case where you get them done professionally, get someone in, or use what you've got and then make them black and white? It still shows uh, the actual team, so customer not misled. But the other thing as well, if you're using too much stock imagery, you can tell that um, when you're looking through a material, a little bit isn't harmful. 
Um, but of course, if you can get authentic material when possible, or all material, then of course, one, you can tell it's your own, it's local, but also as well, um, any risks of um, copyright as well, uh, reduces that factor as well. Zoom, now this is uh, something which I've known for, for a while, and I bet there's people who watch this presentation that's only heard of Zoom in the last couple of months. Now, uh, I use Zoom quite a lot for one-to-one -one, uh, conversations, one-to-one -one training, and even group sessions. Now, these are the screenshots from WordPress Northeast last Thursday, which is usually held in Tusk Park. And uh, what uh, we've done is we use Meetup, we promote the event, we send a link out half an hour before, and um, we get the attendees, I tick them off, as I'm going along. And then, of course, uh, Richard Carter, who is the co-organizer, he, he decided to speak this month. And uh, of course, he's doing the presentation and uh, we're watching the chat. So Zoom is really good for multiple training sessions, multiple meetings, or even one-to-one -one, uh, discussion and meetings as well. Uh, the yes screen share functionality on it, uh, there is actually support functionality, which I've discovered recently on the paid version, so you can request to like uh, control screens. Um, there is a lot of settings now, and it is improving more and more. So if you go on the zoom.us site for your web browser, log in, log in, look at your settings, and there's so many features that you can enable and disable more than just what you get on the standard app when you get it, uh, especially on the paid version, which for £15 a month, uh, including VAT, it is definitely worth it. I'm using it quite often, and even if you're using it once a week um, or twice a week, if I can get more than 40 minutes, it is useful, and you're not tied in a contract either. So, next one, Calendly. Uh, it's maybe something that you've heard of, or you've booked an appointment with someone uh, to do it, and I'm starting to use it more, and I'll be promoting this a lot um, next month and going into June for booking training sessions with myself. Uh, if uh, people want assistance on certain things, if it's an individual, if it's a group, or if it's a case of just booking a phone call with myself. Uh, one thing I'm trying to do is on Monday and Friday is that I spend time doing this sort of stuff where I do a lot of web development uh, through the week. Uh, these are the three versions of Calendly um, to play around with, and you can book uh, one, one sort of training event, but then if you pay for that, which is about 10 or 15 pounds a month, you can have multiple events. But the other thing which I like about it is that you can do prepayment um, on booking. So you can uh, put it in, connect your PayPal or Stripe, and then of course, uh, set like notice on it. So what I'm doing with mine is that you can pay in advance, uh, 24 hours notice. So I can then look uh, in the evening and say, oh, what have we got tomorrow? Oh, such and such is booked a training session and the payment has been cleared. Okay, I know what I've got tomorrow. And you can sync it with the cal your calendar as well, if it's Google or uh, Microsoft 365, where it checks for the, your availability as well. So it doesn't overwrite anything when you've got an event there already. Uh, looking at the calendar there, uh, we are on the uh, 19th, which I recorded this on the 18th. You can see there's no availability uh, until Friday, uh, the 22nd, which was only one appointment there. And even the week after, there's bookings in uh, all day Monday, so Friday the 29th. So you can see um, what you've got, and you can set it up so do you want half an hour intervals, one hour intervals, that sort of thing. So uh, this is the uh, one that I want to talk about um, as well, which um, EKM. Now, if you've not heard of EKM already, uh, they are a shopping uh, platform e-commerce, which are based in the UK. Uh, to be more precise, they are based in Preston. Now, how did I get to know about these guys? Well, I uh, was invited by uh, Tony Robinson, who runs Micro Biz Matters, um, to go and uh, go down to the um, Micro Biz Matters Day, which is always the second week in January, uh, which I know uh, Paul Lancaster and a few others that has been to events in the past when they've been over in Yorkshire. So, of course, um, they were over there, and I didn't know anything about these guys at the time. So when I went to the event for the Micro Biz Matters, I then heard of EKM and got to know the guys a bit. And 
basically they've got a strong e-commerce platform. Now, I've been working with these guys since uh, January very uh, closely, where I've been speaking to them on a once a week basis. And I am now a partner at EKM, which means that uh, I have had the training to be able to uh, tutor people with the platform, as well as the guys over at um, Preston as well. So it, um, they are great guys. Free trial, uh, so you can uh, try it before you buy. Uh, I believe that yeah, if you go through the site direct, uh, you do get 14 days, but you come through me, then you get a 30 day trial, you do get double. Um, of course, I can also show you features and the account managers there uh, who can also show you stuff as well. So uh, especially in this day and age, uh, e-commerce is picking up again because of uh, people are being at home and online shopping is up. Um, if you are even considering the slightest uh, of uh, doing any sort of e-commerce, then come and speak to me and um, I will uh, give you any guidance on that and to see uh, what options is good. But this is definitely something which um, I'm work, uh, working on um, for the area and um, it'd be good to um, get more people on board uh, with a local e-commerce company, uh, which is based um, around here as well. So, uh, like I say, it's just a very small insight of the various uh, things that can be offered. Uh, if you've got any questions, then I am gonna be on the chat um, and on the Facebook page all week. Uh, feel free to, uh, like comment on this video and I'll answer the questions or you can contact me directly. Uh, the Facebook page is uh, Advertise One UK. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram on John J. Wade and Advertise One UK. And if, uh, on LinkedIn as well, you can search for that. Um, let me uh, stop the screen share, I've lost the mouse. So yeah, um, of course this is day two of Newcastle Start Week. And uh, of course, uh, this is getting started. So I'm hoping that there is something there that will help you get started and uh, that you can go on your own way and um, play around. Uh, if you uh, want to ask me any questions, like I said, I will be around on your Start Week um, Facebook page. Uh, also as well, I'm gonna be starting to offer training courses from later this month, early June. So if people are wanting to have Zoom, um, uh, training with me, I will be offering a discount, especially for people who um, are part of uh, the Newcastle Start Week community, which I will send uh, Paul that information uh, in due course, which will be early next week. And then, of course, that can be uh, dished out if uh, anyone there wants to, um, to use that. So, yeah, um, like I said before, thank you very much, uh, Paul and Sarah, for that, giving me the opportunity to do this presentation and enjoy the rest of the day and the rest of the week. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.